Magandang gabi Pilipinas. Good evening Philippines. Maayong gabi ka ninyong tanan. Maimbalal BJ. I mean, may pabengi po karen kabalen po. Welcome to the first review session of Enquest Review Hub. I'm Hermes P. Vargas joining you tonight. Sana po makatulong ang pag-aaral natin. Ito sa mga kaibigan natin sa Department of Education na nag aspire maging school heads or principals sa mga parating na araw. At dahil dyan po, umpisa na natin ang ating talakayan at syempre pagapalitan ng kaalaman. Bear with me as I share with you my presentation. I hope this would help mga kaibigan na. Ayan. I am Hermes Lee Vargas again from the Angeles City. I'm principal three for Francisco G. Nepomuceno Memorial High School with 5,600 enrollees. Ayan. There, were, there are four parts po sa ating pag-review ngayon, sa ating review session. Number one is learning from the experience. I will be sharing with you the journey that I had, the experience that I had. Um, I humbly started as teacher one, and I was teacher one for 10 years. Number two, I'll be sharing with you deputy issuances, our legal basis sa ating pag-aaral. Number three, pointers for the principal's test. Number four, reminders for everyone. Let's begin with learning from the experience. Pag napaksa na po kayo ng principal's test or end questions sinasabi natin, you will receive a certificate of rating. As you can see on the screen, um, I got 160. There were 200 items during that time. There were seven, there were seven domains. No? And if ever, you can also ask a copy from your HR in your division Pag nakapasa na po kayo. Kahit hindi kayo nakapasa, you can ask for copy. But of course, I am entertaining the idea na lahat kayo na nakikinig ngayon at lahat na nagsubscribe sa YouTube channel ko na aspiring school heads at lahat ng members ng Enquist Review Hub ay papasa. Lahat po dapat tayo ay positibo no? sa ating pananaw at pag-take ng exam sa ngayong taon. Ayan. Let's, be, let's move on to the depth and issue one says... Dep Ed Moranda number 158, series of 2018. As you can see, uh, sabi dito, passing the principal's test is one of the requirements for appointment to school principal and assistant school principal positions in public elementary and secondary schools. The pursuant one to Dep Ed orders number 42, Dep Ed order number 97, and Dep Ed 41. So it's a must talaga na makapasa po kayo sa ating MQuest or principal's test. So I am just showing you the basis ang ating DepEd Memorandum number 158. And during that time po, may online application na at mapapansin po ninyo to qualify, uh, you should fall any on any of the following requirements doon sa A to E. You should have served as head teacher for one year, two years as teacher in charge, two years as master teacher, okay naman five years as teacher three or sped teacher or five years as incumbent public school teacher who has five years of managerial and supervisor experience in debt and recognized private institution. So, alin man dyan po, pwede kayong mag-take ng national qualifying examination for school head or simply the principal's tests. Ayan. Ayan. So, noong 2018, datong cluster na lang po. Ang cluster 1, school leader, school leadership, personal and professional attributes and interpersonal effectiveness. For cluster 2, domain 2, instruction leader, Instruction leadership, creating student-centered learning climate. For cluster three or domain three, school manager, which talks more of the governance, human resource management, and professional development, parent involvement, and community partnership, school management, and operations. Sa mga nakapag SHDP na on your school head development program, malaking advantage to. Uh, uh, malaking advantage yun. Kasi it would be easier for you to take the examination. As I see, ha, I also took the SHDP, and of course, I'm part of the trainers. I'm one of the speakers and resource persons SHDP. And at the same time, po, I am also a certified NAEP facilitator for Region 3 and for the national level. So I think lahat ng mga nakakuha at umate ng SHDP, malaking bagay, malaking tulong yung mga presentations na ibinigay ng NAEP doon. No? I, I, must I, I must assume and I, I would tell you na based on experience that would really help a lot in taking the examination. Let's move on. Okay, ah, ito, latest po ito. Last year, September 7, 2020, here came out Debit Order Number 24, Series 2020, National Adoption and Implementation of the Philippine Professional Standards for School Heads. Now, we are now into standards, lima po yan. Actually, as of recording right now, uh, I will be rolling out the, I am one of the speakers for the rollout division level of the Prof Philippine Professional 
standards for school health and there are five no so next week na po kami diyan and uh, timely po na lumabas ito last year dahil ito na po ang magiging basis ng ating exam for this year and of course came ito bago mainit in po bago bago lang po ito February 15 2021 ayan sinabi po dito na end question resume this year and the schedule and other details related to it shall be announced on the second quarter of 2021. Kaya maganda po na makapaghanda na po kayo. Ngayon pa lamang you are preparing na mga kapatid, mga kaibigan sa DepEd, sa ating mga aspiring school heads. You should prepare as early as now. Huwag na naman patumpik-tumpik na. Huwag naman kime-kime. Ilaban na po natin yan. Okay, let's continue. Pointers na po tayo for principal's test. Number one, aim to pass the principal's test. Since nag-e-exam ka na, mag-take ka na ng exam, gusto mo na yan, dapat klaro sa'yo na gusto mo talagang pinapasok mo ha. Huwag kang mag-alinlangan that you want to become a school head, you want to become a principal. Kasi pag half-hearted po kayo, magkakaproblema tayo dyan. Kasi nandun yung agang-aga na, kaya ko ba ito? Gusto ko ba ito? Hindi ko madali maging principal. I'm telling you, the job of a principal is never easy. Mahirap po matrabaho. Ikaw ang unang pumasok, ikaw ang huling lalabas ng paaralan. Now, If you are taking the principal's test this year, aim to pass the principal's test. Ipasa mo, pangarapin mo, pagsikapan mo. Determine, make that as your goal. Focus on that. That you really want to pass the test. Hindi yung parang half-hearted ka lang. Kasi sayang effort. Nag-effort ka na. Diba? Kagaya nga, nag-bukwit tayo, mag-review tayo. Minsan gagas ka for the materials. Ibili ka ng mga libro, ng mga e-books, ng mga ng e-materials, okay? Eh, kailangan na sulit naman. Ipasa na natin. There's no way out. You only have one option to pass the exam. You pass or you pass, okay? Kailangan positive tayo doon. So, that's the first pointer. Aim to pass the principal's test. Do not just aim to take the exam. Ipasa na po natin, okay? Number two. Ayan, plan and organize a personal review schedule. Alam ko, matrabaho ngayon, lalo na pandemic, at kahit hindi pandemic, matrabaho talaga sa DepEd. The thing is, you plan and organize a personal review schedule. Kailan mo ba gusto mag-review? Pag gusto mo lang? Pag naisipan mo lang? Or pag may vacant time ka lang? You plan and organize a personal review schedule. Ako, nung ako po nag-i-test, I really see to it that every day I am reading an article, a DepEd order, a DepEd issuance, or anything about the domain that time para sa pagkahanda ko sa pag-i-exam. Kasi kailangan klaro sa iyo na Sinusundan mo yung schedule mo. Kaya naman ba gusto mag-review? Tuwing gabi ba? Saan ka ba comfortable? Every night? Every vacant time? Every time na walang paso? How much are you willing to take of your time just to review and to read? So, kailangan organisado rin yung oras ng pag-aaral mo. Hindi yung kailan mo lang maisipan. Okay? Ikaw mismo, saan ka comfortable? Where is your comfortable time? Saan ka mas okay? At minsan, may mga, lug- may mga tao pa na minsan hinahat na yung kanilang um, happy place. Kasi may sinahanap mo na mas komportable ka sa lugar na yun. Doon ka mag-review. So you plan to organize your personal review schedule. Ako nung time po po kahit sa cellphone ko, naka-download ang mga PDF files. Binabasa ko po talaga. Kahit nasa jeep ako, um, na, naupo lang ako habang nag-aantay. I make it a point that I read my review materials. Kasi effort talaga. Kung effort ito mga kapatid, huwag mong biru. And you really have to take time to read. No? Okay. So plan and organize a personal review schedule. Number three, eto po yung number three natin. Eto, nako, at in review sessions. Eto po, eto sa YouTube channel ko, this would be regular na. I, I would be uploading videos at least once or twice a week. If not, I would be uploading review materials on the Facebook page po natin, on the Facebook group po natin. No, ako po, I took the review. Aside from my personal review, I had one, re- I had review sessions sa Subic. May nagpa-review noon that time ang isa sa mga dating superintendent namin and I attended the review session. And syempre, gumasa ako ng konti. I paid for the accommodation. I paid for the review materials. And actually, iba kong review materials, sinare ko pa sa mga nag-talk ng exam after me. And I still have them here. I think sa Facebook group natin, nag-upload na ako ng ibang mga soft copies ng ating mga review materials. You attend the review session. Nakakatulong po kasi yun na nakakausap ka, may nagdasalita at nakikinig ka. That would help you a lot. No? Attend review session. Yan ang aking tip number three sa inyo. Number four po is gather and collect review materials. You gather and you collect. Ask your friends, yung mga ibang kilal yung principals or mga kaibigan from other divisions from all over the country. And you can even visit the DepEd uh, site or 
web page and download the debt and orders or memorandum. You can read those materials and that will help you a lot in preparation for the examination. Magbasa kayo, ipunin nyo ang mga materials na yan. Makakatulong po yan para yung mga pag-aaral ninyo ay eh, talagang um, solid, talagang back up by debt and issuances and of course principles and of course concepts. Importante po yan. Ipunin ninyo, mag-collect kayo ng review materials. That will help a lot. No, ako po, that's one of the things that I did. I collected the materials and I gathered it sa isang, aking, sa isang USB, sa isang file sa aking computer. Importante yung mga kapatid, no? Huwag bara-bara kayo lang organisado po ang ating pag-aipo ng ating mga materials. At malaking bagay po ang maitutulong ninyo yan, sa inyo yan, sa paghahanda nyo sa ating examination. Ayan. Ito naman, number five. Read, read, and read. Nako, magbasa. Huwag umasa sa iba. Magbasa. Huwag umasa sa iba. Mga kapatid, debit orders, debit morandum, at yung iba pa mga programa ng debit, yung mga program and policies nila, kailangan basahin natin. It must be clear on our part these things. Pag hindi po na kasi nagbasa, naku, mahihirapan po tayo. Pag nagbabasa po tayo yan, guys, yan talaga. Yan po talaga yung magbigay sa atin ng tulong. Alam niyo ba yun? Na pag nagbabasa ka, naku, reading with understanding is the key. No? Pag nagbasa ka kasi, klaro sa'yo ang debt and order. Yan yung ating legal framework, legal basis sa mga programa sa schools. And remember, when you are a school head, when you are a principal, you just do not implement the program. You have to understand first the context where it is coming from. Remember, may rasyonali ang mga yan para i-implement ang programa ang ating Department of Education. And you have to read those. You have to read this. You have to read that. Klaro po dapat, ne? At wala po ibang makakatulong dyan kundi ang inyong mga sarili. You have to read. Okay? Tsagain po ninyo. Everything. Everything will come to an end and it will come with a price para sa inyo. Yung premyo, yung price po ninyo. Everything comes, with a, everything comes with a price and everything comes with a price. So pagsikapan po ninyo. At lahat po yan, ibibigay naman ni Lord kapag talaga namang deserving natin. At alam ko naman po, lahat kayo dyan na aspiring school heads, lahat kayo dyan na magiging future principals, deserving naman po kayo. Tsaga lamang po. Number six, look for a mentor, coach, and expert. May mga kaibigan kayong principal for sure. May mga kaibigan kayong supervisors, superintendent, assistant superintendent. Lapitan po ninyo. There's no harm in trying. Ako po, as principal, I share what I have what I have right now, the resources that I have would be shared to everybody who are asking for it. Last time po may kachat ako, isa mga members natin sa Review Hub, eh, taga Davo. Eh, ako po, eh, taga, ah, ang, ang, ang mother sa ko po, eh, taga Davo. That's why I speak Cebuano and, uh, and, and uh, Cebuano fluently. Kama o gud ko, dili gud ninyo kung maibalig ya. Oy, pisa noon sa pana. Kama o gud ko, masabtan gud na ako na. And my father naman po is from Pangasinense. That's why I speak Pangasinense din. Um, at atalasan ko sa Pangasinense Manaya. But I grew up, I studied, I work here in Pampanga. That's why I'm a Kampangan. Kaya, eh, yung po, ah, minsan, liunin ka Pampangan po rin. Naring kabaling ko Pampanga, naging taga-tarlap, aking ah, sinjang ko rin. O, oh, kaya, ako po, obra rin. Now, going back, ang sinasabi ko, look for mentor, coach, or expert. Humanap kayo na makapag-utur sa inyo, makapag-guide sa inyo, at makakapag-give sa inyo ng clear path on your direction, on your career path, to become a full-fledged school head, competent and credible humanap po kayo ng ganyan sa inyong division or from other division kung wala kayong makita para may kabadi rin naman kayo. Makakatulong po yan pag may mentor kayo, coach or expert na gumagabay po sa inyo. Next, eto na po ang ating pang seven. Find a review body. During my time, I had a review body. Someone na kabatuhan ko na linya or kabatuhan ko ang tanong. Ako style na parang kita kami, oh, Kapatid, I have a question for you. Ganun yung style namin sa mga training, sa mga insight namin sa division level. Nagkikita kami, nagabatuhan kami ng question, and even nag-chat kami. Nag-chat kami, we ask each other one question each. Ba tanungin nyo ang isang tanong? Tatawin ko rin siya ng isang tanong. At maganda po yun kasi may review body ka na para bagang anytime na magkita kayo, ay, tanungin kita. So nakakatulong po yun. Review body. Find your review body. If you cannot find one, form a group review. A group review bodies, no? Gawa kayo ng gano'n sa inyong division or for, even from other division. Alam, ninyo, alam naman po ninyo, we are all interconnected in this in this small world. Nasa Pilipinas lang tayo at lahat tayo ay magkakaugnay. No? So find a review body that would help kahit paano. 
Number eight po, have a positive mindset. Believe in yourself. First timer mo, retaker ka, pang second time mo, pang third time mo, kese, hoda, ano pa man yan. Have a positive mindset. Tandaan po ninyo, walang nagbawagi kapag sumusukha. Always believe in yourself that you can make it, that you can pass the exam. Have a positive mindset. Well, uh, siguro, suminerte lang po ako na take one ko yung exam, nakapasa ako. Sa iba siguro, hindi sila suminerte. Maaaring ganun. Pero huwag kayong mawala ng pag-asa. Have that positive mindset that you believe in yourself, that you will be able to make it, that you will be able to pass this year's principles test or national qualifying exam for school head. Kaya po ninyo yan. Huwag kayong maniwala. Ang hirap. Hindi ko kaya. Pag ngayon parang sumusuko kayo, pinaghihinaan kayo. Ay, wala talaga mangyayari. Kaya ikaw mismo sa sarili mo, kumbinsido ka na papas ako, kaya ko ito. Well, advantage siguro ng mga OIC na kasi yung practice, nakikita nila yung practice, yung kala ka sa school management level. You get to see it. However, um, um, it does not mean that for teacher thika or master teacher ka nagtuturo ka, you are in this advantage. Bagamat I'm telling you na ibang-iba talaga ang school management or school head kasi it's a 360 degrees turn. It's a 360 degree turn talaga. Ibang-iba talaga. Pag nasa classroom ka at pag nag-manage ka ng school, ibang-iba po talaga yon. It's a different thing. Managing a school and teaching inside the classroom are two different things. But remember, one of the functions of a school principal is he or she is an instructional leader. Kaya yung pagiging teacher mo sa loob ng classroom, that would help you a lot to become a good school head. That would help you a lot. But before doing that, have a positive mindset. Pa-pasa ka. Okay? Ayan. Number nine po, regularly conduct mock soft exam. Noong ako po, may hard copy ako ng, uh, ng mock exam. So sinasagot ko, inuorasan ko ang sarili ko. For every item, Siguro 30 seconds, tapos nasagot ko na, or 20 seconds. Kaya lang nabilis ka magbasa. Tapos orasa mo rin sarili mo. Ba, 200 items siya. Eh, usually, ang principles test, 8 to 12 lang. 8 a.m. to 12 noon. So you roughly have 4 hours. So 4 hours, 60 minutes each hour, naka 240 minutes. So kung mayroong mak-exam na 200 items, orasa mo yung sarili mo. No, sagutin mo. Kailangan orasan mo. Tapos i-check mo yun pagkatapos mong sagutan. Ne? I-check mo, nakuha mo ba? Ano ang hindi mo nakuha? Sanayin mo ang sarili mo. I-challenge mo yung sarili mo. Calibrate yourself, darling. Kailangan ikaw mismo, ha, bago mag-test uh, sa actual principles test, chino-challenge mo at kinakalibrate mo ang sarili mo sa mga exam na yan. Walang madaling daan patungo sa pagiging principal. Talagang medyo mahirap po, challenging, but I believe you can make it. And of course, number nine, take mock self-exam regularly para masanay kayo doon sa ginagawa ng mga test takers talaga sa actual na principles test. And number 10, pray. Pray. Hindi bibigay yan ng sino man. God will provide. Remember, ang Panginoon, ang ating pinagkukunan lahat, ang talino, lahat, ang galing, lahat, ang competency niyan. Kung wala po ang Panginoon, hindi natin magagawa yan. There's always one supreme be being who is watching us, who is above us, and who will be helping us. God will help you if you ask for help. God provides po mga kapatid. So you have to pray hard. You have to, desire, you have to let God know what your heart desires. Okay? Let's continue. Last part na po tayo. Reminders na po tayo. Attend synchronous review session po natin. Ayan. Or watch review videos on my YouTube channel, YouTube, Hermes P. Vargas. We have one or twice a week. That will be last for one or two, three hours for every session. Actually, for next meeting po, I'm planning to conduct uh, another topic naman po. I'm planning to have the Philippine Professional, Philippine Professional Standards for School Heads. Ngayon, you can comment on the chat box po natin ngayon sa ating chat, um, chatting chat dyan. You can um, um, type po anong topic ang gusto niyo pag-usapan natin next meeting. You can ask your question na sa inyo po yan. And if ever gusto ko yung topic, mas mara, mara majority ng top, ng gusto eh, yung topic ngayon, eh, paghahandaan ko po yun. Although, ang um, gusto ko talaga, next topic is yung Philippine Professional Standard for School Heads. Of course, we will be posting announcement on the Facebook rep, group and quest review hub. Basta tune in lang po kayo doon, umantabay lang po kayo doon, I am willing to communicate with you. Number two po, download files from Enquest Review Hub. Uh, Nag-upload po ko ng mga files doon. You can go on the, fi on, on the files posted doon and you can just download that. No? Download yun lang po yun. Free naman po yun. Number three, 
subscribe subscribe to my YouTube channel since free naman po. Mayroon po kayong mga videos na ginagawa ko sa school ko since ako po yung principal na rin naman. Panoorin po yung mga ginagawa ko dyan, naka-upload po dyan sa YouTube channel po yung mga ginagawa namin sa school. You can view, you can watch my insert pa nga po dyan. Libre po yan. Okay? Subscribe lang po kayo. And of course, you'll be totally free but if you wish to voluntarily and willingly send your token of permission, of course, I am willing to accept. Plastic ba naman ako? Siyempre hindi. Ano? Natuwa kayo. Bahala na po kayo po ang aking GCash at you can send it to that number 0 9 But Remember, ang mga materials ko po at ang aking mga videos ay lahat po ay libre. F-R-E-E. Free. Yan ay aking um, parang ano ko yan, um, sinumpaan na kapag ako nakapasa, tutulong din ako sa mga aspiring school heads para sila naman po ay makapasa din. Kasi na ako rin po, may mga tumulong sa akin, may mga niwala, may nagtiwala sa aking kayahan that I could be a school head and I could be a school principal. Likewise, I'm just returning it. I'm just giving back to you guys who I know are are capable of handling and managing a school. Number five, feel free to reach me out through the following platform. I am on Facebook. I am on Instagram. I have YouTube channel. I am on Messenger. I also have my email. Huwag po kayo mahiya makipag-usap, magtanong, mag-call, mag-chat. I am willing to entertain you po as long as I have the time. Actually, before patungo na ating review session, may mga nag-chat siya, may nakipag-usap na, at lahat naman po sila eh, sawa po ng Panginoon, I was able to answer them. Next po, Aim to pass, but more than that, aim to be credible. Aim to be a credible and competent principal. Aim to be cre a credible and a competent principal. Remember, we are public servants. Based on Republic Act 9155, may accountability po tayo sa ating paaralan. We are accountable to our school. May aura po tayo. Authority, um, responsibility, and accountability sa ating school. Mangarap kayo maging principal, pero siguro doon po niyo pag nakapasa kayo, you are credible and competent principal. Siguraduhin nyo na maglilingkod kayo sa ating mga stakeholders na maayos at tapat no? sa mga magulang, sa mga sudyante, sa mga teachers natin at sa wider community. Kayo po ay credible at competent principal. Hindi po principal na Prince, Prince Epal. No? <laughs> Hindi po ganon. Hindi kayo Prince Epal. Principal. Naglilingkod ka dahil tayo ay public servants. Tinung, sinumpaan natin yan. Yan po ay ating mandato ibigay po natin sa bayan natin. Ibigay natin yung ating servisyo mahusay, magaling, at kapag ipakinabang sa mga guro, sa mga magulang, sa mga mag-aaral, at sa wider community po natin. Remember, I will be happy that you will pass the exam, but I will be happier that I will see you face-to-face -face after this pandemic that you are a credible and competent principal in the Department of Education. And of course, finally, There's no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. Hindi po madali. Mahirap po ang exam. Challenging po. But I know that you can make it. Tsagain lang po natin. Mag-aral tayo. Magbasa tayo. Magtanong tayo. Benchmark from other test takers. You can ask from other test takers. You can, other, you can ask from principals like us, like me. At syempre po, papasa kayo. Sa awa po yan. Sa tulong ng Panginoon. Okay? So with that, Maraming maraming salamat po sa ating first review session, sa ating Enquish Review Hub. Stay safe. God bless. Thank you. Once again, I am Sir Hermes saying God bless. Good night. Chat lang po kayo sa ating, ating chat box. Makita-kita ka po tayo sa ating next review session. Maraming salamat po. Once again, Sir Hermes P. Vargas, the next test, sabi, kayo po ay papasa. Goodbye, everyone.